As we continue our coverage of artificial intelligence, we have to talk about its impact on learning. So joining me now to do just that is the founder of Sizzle AI and a former VP at Meta, Jerome Presenti. Uh, Jerome, welcome. Thanks for having me. How is Sizzle AI trying to help improve the learning space? It's really meant to be a companion for all learners. If you have homework and you're stuck on, it can get you unstuck. If you have homework you want to check, it will tell you, give you some feedback. If you have things you want to learn for a test, it can get you ready. Okay, give us an example of a use case of this. Use case is, you know, you're doing your homework, you don't know how to uh, do the next step, you can take a picture of it, and then Sizzle will tell you, this is the way you can solve this problem step by step. And it will try to get you to actually solve each step one at a time and give you hints or feedbacks. Interesting, so this is an app that you would use on your mobile device, your iPad, your computer, something like that. That's right, Android, iOS. Yeah. How, what is the, the bang for your buck that you're returning here? And just in, even in terms of how it's supposed to make education easier, what can people expect? I mean, the problem today is not everybody has access to support, right? So you may not have a parent at home that can help you. You may not have a one-on-one -on -one tutor. The goal is to use AI to be that assistance for you that you may not have otherwise. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the price point, uh, what can consumers expect to pay for this? Right now it's all free. So we intend to really build an audience and get people to use the software. How do you protect the data, uh, such important data, especially for young users? I mean, we really don't share the data with anybody else. We do use the data to improve the service. And how do you use it to improve the service? Well, we try to improve the accuracy of the tutor and make it more useful for students, right? So we can understand what they are trying to do and then improve the software for that. Mm -hmm. What's the target demo here? Is, is it young children? Is it teens? No, it's teens. It's really meant to, you know, the students that kind of learn on their own. And so 15 to 20 year old, you know, uh, high school and early college. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure that it's being used for good? Well, we try to monitor, you know, how our students use it and we're really focused on learning. So we want to not give them just the answer. We want to incentivize them to try to answer on their own, answer their question, give them hints. Mm -hmm. So do you give them the answer in the end? At the end we do because they can find it somewhere else. You know, if today, if you're doing homework at home, you can figure out a way to get the answer. But what, with Sizzle, what you do is it really gets you step by step through it. So it's a really better tool for you to get engaged with the, 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 the homework and get unstuck. So do you get the answer immediately? Or no, you don't there... actually, right? Okay, how does that work? Because some people might say, that it is basically like, I understand that it's, it's used for good. You want to mm -hmm. help them find the original method, but some people might just skip to the bottom and get the answer. They may, you know, and they may do that with other software, but we don't give it to you right away. And we try to walk you through each of the steps. And in each step, we try to say, hey, can you try to answer it? Or oh, here are some options for you. So uh, it's a standalone app for now, is that correct? That's correct. What about partnerships uh, with uh, different institutions? Is that something that you're considering? I mean, we want to be on the good side of the education system, right? We've talked a lot to teachers. I think they like the app. Uh, we want to be the app for learning uh, that teachers and education specialists would recommend. You know? mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, so in terms of how you want to make the app more sophisticated, how do you see that playing out? So we just launched quite a few features, you know, like one is instead of just helping you with your homework, we'll help you prepare for your next step. You can actually even yourself use it. You can go there, enter any topic that you want to research or test your knowledge on, and it will create a feed of little activities for that. So think of it as a bit of a Duolingo for anything. So let's say that you, you complete your homework on your own, mm -hmm. and maybe you want someone to check it. Does it have the capabilities to do that? Yes, we also introduced that feature. You can take a picture of the whole homework with your answers, and then the system will highlight the parts where you can do better. So this seems like it would be very advantageous uh, for students. Are you sure over time that this would, this would make them smarter? Well, that's the objective of our company. Our, you know, our top line goal is how much learning do people do on our platform and how much can we improve that? Interesting. Uh, any other aspects that uh, users can expect to debut this year? No, I mean, really the idea is we want to be the companion that uh, all learners will use, including not just students, down the line also non-students, and go there and basically learn anything you want and help you achieve your learning goals. Mm -hmm. And who is powering uh, this AI, who's building it insofar that uh, you make sure that it is giving students the proper information? Well, we are building models, you know, AI models. It's not perfect, you know, it makes mistakes, but we are constantly improving them. Will it note that if it makes a mistake or if it's unsure on something? Not always, and, and sometimes the students tell us and, you know, and we try to correct and they can even contest, challenge the answer and uh, we try again. Okay, all right, good to know. Our founder of Sizzle AI, Jerome Presenti. Jerome, thank you.
Thanks for having me.